true stories of brave leaders from around the world. If You Were a Princess by Hilary Homsey, illustrated by Udayanga Lugo. To the kind, intelligent, and brave princess and all of us, to M, D, and V, who really know how to spread kindness and draw out the best in me. If You Were a Princess by Hilary Homsey, illustrated by Udayana Lugo. If you were a princess, what would you do? You would stand up for the rights of other humans and animals. Like Princess Maya Zinke of Holland and Zollerns, which is part of Germany, champions the rights of those who are voiceless, especially animals. She's a vegan and lives with dogs, cats, and rabbits that she personally rescued. Princess Alia of Jordan established a wildlife sanctuary for rescued wild animals, including lions. And Princess Stephanie of Monaco rescued two elephants, Baby and Nepal, and keeps them on a preserve by the palace where she carries where she cares for them and, exer and exercises them every day. Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, who's experienced to become Princess of Wales, experienced bullying as a child. But eventually, she gained confidence as captain of her field hockey team and by excelling academically. Today, she supports anti-bullying campaigns and urges kids to speak up in order to get help. At 11 years old, Meghan Markle, long before she became the Duchess of Sussex, stood up for equality. Bothered by a popular dish soap commercial that suggested that only women clean pots, she wrote to the company and the commercial was changed to include men too. And comfort those in need. Some princesses wear gloves during formal occasions, but not every princess. In her work, Diana, Princess of Wales, preferred not to wear gloves because she enjoyed holding hands with those in need. One of her favorite quotes was from a poem. You weary, wayfarer. Two things stand like stone, kindness in others' trouble, courage in your own. If you were a princess, you might wear a tiara or a fancy hat, but not all of the time. Crowns are usually worn only by kings and queens, but a princess can wear a tiara. When Princess Katharina, Amalia of the Netherlands, bikes to school, the only thing on her head might be a helmet. After all, you might be too busy climbing a mountain. Princess Rima of Saudi Arabia trekked Mount Everest with fellow female climbers. Each woman journeyed in honor of a breast cancer patient. The princess thinks it's important to focus on your health and well-being. Or competing in sports? After Princess Haya of Jordan's mother died, her father presented a young horse to the princess to help her heal. This gift inspired a passion for show jumping. Princess Haya became the first Arab woman to compete in the Olympics and then served on the International Olympic Committee, paving way for more young girls and women from Muslim countries to compete in sports internationally. Other princesses who have competed in the Olympics include Princess Anne of Great Britain and Princess Charlene of Monaco. If you were a princess, you would help your community. Princess Alice of Badenburg was multilingual and deaf. Renowned for her sensitivity to those in need, she helped orphaned and lost children find food and shelter during World War II. And you wouldn't be scared to defend what is most important to you. There were many princesses throughout history 
who held the defense of their lands. Princess Lakshmi Bai lived in what is today northern India. She studied swordsmanship and archery, and when she became queen, she led the resistance to British rule for her country. Princess Amina of 16th century Zazao, a place now known as Zaria in Nigeria, opened up trade routes and was known for a reign of prosperity. Princess Pingyang, born around 600 AD of the Tang Dynasty in China, commanded an enormous army in order to defend her realm. Lady Cabell, Princess of Kalakmi, became the queen military governor and supreme warrior of the Wa Kingdom in the 7th century. She was called Lady Snake Lord and ruled in what is today northwestern Guatemala, and she held more power than her husband, the king. If you were a princess, you might rap and share your music with everyone. Princess Sikanjiso Diamani of Eswatini, formerly known as Zwazaland, raps. She began rapping as a teenager and says that the rhythm that she has in rap de derives from the cultural traditions of her country. The princess has performed for many official events and her popular music can be found on social media. And you might have many jobs besides being a princess. Princess Mary Polona of Russia was a photojournalist who wrote two books, Education of a Princess and A Princess in Exile. Princess Elizabeth Bagzaya, the Princess Royal of the Taro Kingdom in Uganda, studied law at the University of Cambridge and became the first female lawyer in her country. She also served as Minister of Foreign Affairs for Uganda and later as ambassador to the United States. Princess Akiko of Mikasa of Japan has a PhD in Japanese art history from the University of Oxford and has worked as a professor. Princess Nizreen El Hashmit from the Royal Family of Iraq has doctorates in both science and medicine and she has been a researcher at the University College London, as well as at Harvard Medical School at the United Nations. She helped establish the International Day of Women and Girls in Science. You would do amazing things like learn how to code. Princess Lala Salma of Morocco received a degree in computer engineering and graduated first in her class. Today, she uses her love and knowledge of science to champion cancer research. You would do amazing things like study languages. At the age of 12, Princess Elizabeth of Belgium gave her first formal speech in the three official languages of Belgium, Dutch, French, and German. The princess regularly volunteers in elder residential care, cent residential care centers and ho homeless shelters. Her language skills help her to speak with many different people. Crown Princess Kiko of Japan is fluent in sign language and is skilled sign language interpreter. Invent. In 1900, Princess Stephanie of Belgium invented a new kind of warming dish. She took out patents in England, France, Germany, Italy, and Belgium. In around 530 BC, Princess Aguinaldi Nana of the New Babylonian Empire created the world's first museum in what is now Iraq. When archaeologists dug up the museum, they found that the artifacts had been labeled. If you were a princess, you would be remembered for marvelous deeds. You might even have a natural wonder named after you. In 1850, Mount Alice in British Columbia was named for Princess Alice of the United Kingdom, who helped to found a hospital and a society to educate women during the 19th century. Japanese princess Taira Notokurko was 
who was born in the 12th century, has an asteroid named after her because of her bravery and beautiful poetry, which she composed after she became a nun. It is said that she wrote, Did I ever dream that I would behold the moon here in the mountain, the moon that I used to view in the sky over the palace? Because a princess has her feet on the ground, but her eye on the sky. Princess Diokman, later known as Queen Siodek of Silla, lived in an area that today is part of South Korea. She loved astronomy, and when she became queen, she built an observatory for stargazing during the rain, which was from around 632 to 647 AD. The tower still stands, and you can visit it today. It is one of the oldest existing observatories in Asia. If you were a princess, you would spread kindness everywhere. Because the most loved princesses make others feel like royalty too. How can you become a princess in your own way? Stand up for yourself and others with a strong mind, body, and heart. You don't need a crown or a gown, or a prince to hold your head high and dazzle the world. 